Hello guys, welcome to another LSPDFR episode. Well, technically, there's a tutorial, you know, and I'm gonna be showing you how to work LSPDFR, I guess, you know. Okay, so right off the bat, this is the apartment. This is one of, I think, three apartments that you get when you start LSPDFR as of 0.48. You know, they added one more. They added one in, um, it's what, Grape Seed, I think it is. This is the one in Hillcrest Avenue. They have one in Spanish Avenue, one in like, you know, the sun, Sandy Shores type of area. This is the menu. You just press M and it comes right up. You have different places you could go, like a quick, G a quick GPS. And by the way, the car in the back of me is not the, you know, base car. It is, okay, it have the same name, but it's basically a different model. I think I did a video before on how to add cars inside the game. So that's basically the stun here in the back of me. Yours could look more like an old crown Vic, I think. Anyway, so I'm just here showing you the menu, the different apartments that you could set, the different things that you could do. You could like eat, you could smoke, you could grab yourself a donut, you know, that type of stuff change your walk style you could intimidate people you could say hi you could insult people and then these sets that are like in the dark or whatever that you can't click on once you get in a vehicle then that could become available or once you go on duty then it could become available you know so like i said you could eat you could drink you could be merry you know not really <laughs> but you could eat you could drink you could intimidate people that's just the interaction menu or the you know player menu that you have coming into LSPDFR. You could also change your model. That's why different LSPDFR players look differently. You could be a female if you're a female and you could be a male if you're a male. You could be a female if you're a male as well. It, you could do a lot of stuff, you know. You can't change the body styles, but I think you can change their voice even though they don't really talk like that. You know, um, there's a lot of things that you could do in GTA 5. They don't have to be black. They could be white. They could and the shirt is custom. Like this ain't the shirt that it comes with. This ain't no uh GT or you know stock GTA 5 shirt. It's different. I'm gonna show you how to put your own clothes in GTA 5. But if you know how to change like Franklin clothes, more than likely you know how to change the player clothes. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I, I can do a video on all of that though. I mean, if you watch the Steve the Gamer, then you supposed to at least know how to do that. I think he did a, bit, a video on that before. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, the same way how Franklin look different in Steve games. Yeah, that's basically what happened in here. Okay, so you could. They also have a rage menu. This called the rage menu. This blue thing that I have. You know, as you can see on the top right hand, you could press F four, and it can bring you into the menu. You could force duty. You could reload the plugins, you could load plugins, um, you could spawn cars, you could wash cars, you could fix cars, all that type of stuff. It's basically a trainer. But I already have simple trainer for that. I don't know why going over here to spawn to go on duty to force duty but I can show you how to force duty real quick in case like I don't know somebody do something or you don't feel like driving all the way to the station that type of stuff I mean for me I could just set the waypoint and press delete and automatically appear in the station I have like three trainer, um, trainers menu a simple trainer and rage that could you know transport me to the station real quick but yeah so depending on the plugins and the compatibility and all the type of stuff or whatever it can initialize it can go to it can just basically check all of them to say that this loaded this loaded this next thing loaded all their plugins and scripts loaded if you have any outdated plugins it can let you know that it can say um there's a new version of this available and then you go and download that i suggest that you download it make sure I keep these things updated because it will crash the game LSPDFR now if you play an LSPDFR now it's better than 3.0.3b because that was crashing a lot you could put police barricades up real quick without going into the menu 
by default the menu is F6 I think yeah and you could change the barriers so you get off these you get off like the roadblock type barriers or whatever them little plastic barriers I think I don't know you could do the concrete barriers yeah I think that fall under um, traffic um, traffic police and then to get rid of the barriers you just press J by default well you if you in a vehicle you come out the vehicle press J and then go back in the vehicle because it ain't gonna do in the vehicle and plus if you press J inside the vehicle then the lights can turn on the emergency lights can turn on well that's if you have ELS installed the emergency lights can come on if you don't have ELS installed, then the sirens just can come on. The lights and the siren can come on. That's what ELS does. It turns on the lights and not the sirens. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the um, backup menu. This is Ultimate Backup. This is also a plugin. LSPDFR comes with a backup menu, but you could also you could install this if you want to. The backup menu for LSPDFR, I don't think it comes with K9 and calling the ambulance and calling the police, you know, police backup or whatever. I don't. You know, this just basically better than uh, LSP, a stock LSPDFR uh, menu. Plus, you can spawn K9s, and who don't like K9s? You could also change the. Well, this isn't. This is an X mod. This K9 is an X mod. Um, it, the Shepherd doesn't look like this. It looks more like a like Australian Shepherd or something like that. This is a, this is a. I can show you all how to install this model along with the Pitbull as Chop model. So just make sure to subscribe and I can have you all a okay. I can I can I can have you all game looking nice. I'm just going through all the canine models just to show you all how much canines they have. They have like three, and you can't change most of them. If you like get tired of the canine or you don't want to use the canine no more, you could also despawn the canine. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to have a human um, partner. You could have human partners from like LSPD, FIB, Noose, Air Squad, um, I think Supervisor, Local Patrol. You could have a female backup as well. But first I want to get the car first, just so... I don't know, I just want to I just want to spawn the car first. I can show you a lot of spawn the car through the rage menu. There's other ways you could do this, but we're talking about LSPD FR. You just type in spawn space police and then when you find the model that you're looking for you press tab or you could just write it out you know be completely complicated and write it out and just press enter and it can spawn that model i'm now going to show you how to put on a uniform real quick um the this one this next one is called eup and you could basically well i can open up the menu by pressing F11, I think that's by default. I press F11 and then it can go into a menu and then I can put on clothes depending on what I'm doing, you know, like canine unit or police or squad. Like I said earlier, you could also have yourself a human partner. You could, um, next thing I didn't tell you is you could put, um, get the firearm that you want them to have, like, you could have the, they could get they could get a shotgun they could get a rifle whatever you want them to have you could have you could spawn a player that look exactly like you when it comes to the cop models they don't give you much um you know options I'll cover you and then usually they choose to spawn your partner in outrageous places so she might be around the corner or she might be i don't know where she is she do, it don't look like she in the car but anyways when you go inside your car and you press t they usually come they usually come um running it is indicated by a blue dot. I don't see that blue dot moving, so she might not be coming. She might be stuck somewhere, she might be too far, I don't know. Or she might be stuck on the roof. So we just use menu and then practically drag her down. So I'm gonna left click on her first. 
right click sorry i'm gonna right click on her first and then left click on her and then drag her because if i just right um, if i just left click on her she could like fall through the ground or whatever gta 5 logic people who have used menu to drag something out the way if you just left click first it um it could just like fall through the ground and keep on falling it could just glitch it could glitch out you know so just right right click left, right click first and then left click and drag whatever it is wherever you want it to be so now to turn on the emergency lights you just click j three times so the first one would end well i think every vehicle is different so with this one it and it turns on the back lights second would turn on the back lights and some of the front lights like on the light bar and third would turn on all the lights so the lights on the light bar the lights on the um in the front every vehicle is different so it depends on how much lights a vehicle has some have like christmas tree lights so third the, the third time you press j we turn on everything you just light light up every light will come on and t is the manual siren y is the horn e is also the horn you while it in stage three while you have on all the lights you could press one two and three to cycle through the primary secondary and third tertiary whatever you know those cyber sirens and then like i said some vehicles have christmas tree lights like i think steve the gamer did a video on that recently where he had a tahoe and it just have a bunch of lights on it that's like with side runners lights on the push bar lights and the headlights lights all over the place all over the place it just really light up red and blues everywhere or sometimes it's blues sometimes it's all red dispatch show me 10 8 Roger that. One, Adam, 14. Proceed with patrol. Okay, so we are going on patrol. And how I did that was just the right alt key, I guess you could say. Like at the bottom of the keyboard is the right alt key. And then you could talk to dispatch if you have a microphone. You could also do it within the LSPDFR menu. Like when I say you could press M, you just go in settings, I think it is. And then they could say available for calls. And you go to yes. You click it on yes. And then... You could get calls. You could also request callouts. Whenever I have a reasonable reason to pull somebody over, then I'm gonna pull them over. I'm not gonna pull over a random pair like people is do in demonstrations. Like this red car that just passed me. I don't know if I really like how they came with the corner. I feel as if they just like swerved out the corner without looking. Just now they they just turned through the corner and now I can't find them. So they probably speed and they probably see me turn around and gone more reason to pull them over we have a person with a firearm like i always say if lucky was a person so i'm gonna go respond to this person with a firearm and stay in the area and basically how you accept calls is y by default but i use you because every time press y the horn is sound and i don't really like that you know So I could call for backup or I could handle this by myself. So I'm gonna hop out, press six, cause that's the quickest way to get your handgun out. And then to engage target, you could just press the left mouse. I think that's from LSPDFR or it could be one of the plugins, I don't know, but more than likely yeah the police response so if you shoot if somebody shooting at you and you shooting at the police or whatever like they were requesting coroner i think that's lspdfr i don't I'm, I'm not sure i could but i could have a mod that could fix that that probably influencing that but i don't know and then like i said earlier you could change the barricades with f6 by default i think you could change it by f6 and then whatever kind of barricades you want like the blue barricade is the default one but then you could change it to like the concrete but i don't really use the barricades like that i just stop traffic and basically how you do that is you press g and it brings up the stop the paid menu and you could stop traffic and now because she technically knocked down my officer and you know gone over the body whatever driving reckless or reckless in danger man because she acting like a fool i just press e twice and i could ask her to get out the vehicle 
So now I'm just breathalyzing now, which is control zero and no way well, like shift zero and then control zero is struggleize. You could also breathalyze and struggleize her through the stop the bed menu. Like you see here, she didn't have anything to drink, but she was on cannabis. I pressed G again, and then now I could arrest her. And then after I arrest her, I could um, call prisoner transport if I want to, or I could just transport her myself. You could take it with a grain of salt, because sometimes they fight, sometimes they produce a gun, sometimes they don't. So I guess that's what makes it more realistic. You could also do a field sobriety test. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate that, but basically what you do is you just go, you press G and then if you want to do a field sobriety test or narcotics test or whatever, you could just click on that, like just click, go on it, highlight it and then click enter. She is a female, so I'm gonna play it sort of by the book and I'm gonna get my female partner to search her. And basically how I do it is I have my female partner go closer, like while she's standing close to her and then you can just you, you can see how i do it and then i click by my buddy i get up my buddy arrest her i get up my buddy watch her she could perform a pot down she could perform a dragalizer a breathalyzer okay so she don't have nothing like that on her i mean she have a small pouch of the good stuff but otherwise now she don't have that much on her so I walk up to the vehicle and press F10 and that is going to search the vehicle. You could do this through search warrant, which is a plugin, or you could do this through uh, stop the bed. I'm, I'm going to call a tow truck for this vehicle and be on our way and we'll be on our way. As you can see, stop the bed is very useful. As soon as I walk up to the vehicle, they're going to ask me if I want to put it in the rear seat or the, or the front seat. I'm going to put it in the rear seat because I'm a normal officer. I don't, know who, I don't know what officer puts people in the front seat. Like, why would you even do that? But, you know, some officers, if, they are, if the person aren't cuffed, then you can put them in the front seat. I think they do it in Florida or Texas or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so she has the charges and we'll be back 10 8. I lied. I have to put her in the station first. And then we'll be blocked in. Just for simplicity's sake, I'll pass her off. I don't really know what this yellow dot means, but I'm gonna turn around, pull them over. Well, maybe just do the license plate check. Zero, one, boy, Mary, King, four, seven, seven, no, ten, ninety-nine. Okay, so it came up with nothing wrong with it, so I just can leave it. So I'm going to go after this vehicle in front of me because it is stolen. If I press Ctrl W, I can set a custom pullover spot, or I can just press Ctrl R and have them uh, mimic me, and I could drive wherever I feel like driving. Or Ctrl T, and I could have them follow me. So there's three ways of having them pull over on the side of the road where you want to want to them to pull over. I would say the custom, the Ctrl W would be more controlled. I don't I don't want them pull over here so I'm gonna click on control R and have them mimic me mimic me and go forward. And this right here is why I hate the mimic function because it sometimes cancels the cancels the traffic stop. And then plus I don't know if y'all catch that but they like merge into traffic and almost cause an accident, so that's the next charge I'm gonna charge them with. Dispatch, requesting play check. Right there, driver, don't move no more. Target license plate, 37 Ida, boy, boy, zero, three, five. A traffic violation, a possible stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. I got a pretty sure you could have gone, you could have come out the next side, like, why you, anyways, whatever. So right off the bat, I have an alert of narcotics coming out the vehicle. To bring up the traffic stop questions, you press E, 
LSPDFR have one, um, LSPDFR Plus have one, and stop the paid of one. So just click E of one, and the rest you can set to none or no, because it could every time you get in the game they can ask you oh are you you know two of these cases the same and you know are you sure you know what you're doing or whatever whatever and you just like that message annoying so one said one to no and the next one to none or something like that i know some of y'all might be lost but i'm talking about the i and i files sorry that was my dog barking anyways right yeah i'm talking about the i and i files when you download lspdfr plus and stop the pad Go in the INI files, look down and it can say traffic stop interact menu. The same thing with LSPDFR in the LSPDFR menu. Go there and then um, go in keys, I think it is, and then set it to none. The traffic stop interact, yeah. So the vehicle does not have a, a valid registration, but the vehicle is not his. So I think I might slap him with the non-valid registration. I can't, I can't do that to the owner because the owner isn't driving it. He is driving it, so I guess the registration will go under him. I should be stinking do that. But most definitely, I can charge him with the narcotics inside the vehicle. And I can charge him with the stolen possession of a stolen vehicle. Well, that would be... Okay, it's good to know that he hasn't been drinking. But that would be possession of a stolen vehicle and narcotics inside the vehicle. And whatever I find on him or in the vehicle would be also his. Even if it, if we, even if I find an unlicensed gun inside the vehicle, it's stolen. So it's automatically his if y'all wondering how that is go. The vehicle stolen, so I would charge him with the unlicensed firearm if I find one. Is what I was saying. Alright, sir, turn around. You're not... Despite this, the possession of a stolen vehicle, you're not under arrest per se. Well, actually, I'm going to let my partner search him while I search the vehicle. Okay, so we have white powder and um and something in a brown baby crystals. We get clear, clear crystals. So I'm gonna go to the rear of my vehicle and I'm gonna do a drug test and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You press G and then you go to narcotics field test and then just keep on selecting one until you get a positive hit. But I'm not gonna boil with all of that. So it's possession of a stolen vehicle, PCP, meth, and then I also gave him a citation for the um, expired registration. Yeah, I being petty today. It's the menu that I was talking about earlier when I say that you could go on duty without uh, grammar police you could just go on police radio and you could change wherever the mic is like if you have it on your chest you could do it on your chest if you have it handheld you could have a handheld radio in your hand and you could just go on duty like that so now I'm gonna show you the bottle shield or the ballistic shield and the evidence markers that you could also spawn in the menu So you can use your firearm while engaging targets and for the love of God don't do that in real life don't point at anything that you don't intend to shoot and then to place the evidence markers you go to the same place where you get the ballistic shield from and you click place evidence markers I think you can place as much as you want to. I don't. I'm not sure on a number of how much you can replace, but I know that there's a script, I think, or a mod or whatever that could change the layout on it because it says FIB now, but you could change it to say LSPD. And then to pick it up, you just go by it and press E. Anyways, this is all for this episode of LSPDFR um, tutorial. I think I'm gonna do a part two because LSPDFR is so big and we have so, like, it's so much things that you could do. 
I didn't run through all the plugins, all the callouts that I have, but I can leave them in the description below if you all wanna, you know, download them. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.